Hey guys, how are you doing? It's a girl Vimozi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment at the end of the video. Please give me some press the notification bell so that anytime I post something, you'd be notified. So, in this episode, I wanted to do a vaginal health care series uh, as part of my personal hygiene series. And if you want to hear more about this, stay tuned for more. I'll be right back. So basically, our private area is very sensitive and needs a lot of care and a lot of attention to detail. You need to be very gentle as you deal with it, as you um, wash it, as you dry it, and etc. And I'm just going to dwell and talk about certain tips or hacks that you can use that could make your life easier and allow your vagina to just live healthy. So to start off with, my first tip would be make sure when you're washing your vagina, your private area, you're washing it with warm water. And when you're done, you make sure that you dry it with a clean, dry towel. If your vulva area or your vaginal area is a bit sensitive, then maybe you could use a blow dry. I know, sounds crazy, but you could actually use a blow dry at cool level just to ensure that every part of your vaginal area is dry it has to be kept dry after being washed um at any given okay so b would be <clears throat> the vagina cleans itself uh through the use and through the methods of vaginal discharges so you should avoid using things like douches unless of course your doctor prescribes it for you but avoid putting anything um in it as a way to clean your vagina because it's already doing the job for you and to avoid like any growing of any organisms or bacteria you need to ensure that you are not using things that haven't been prescribed to you water is good enough to clean your c is avoid wearing things um and when I say things, I mean underwear that is not 100% cotton. Cotton is very good at just keeping things stabilized and intact down there. You do not want to wear things like neon or actate or anything that is not cotton because, it's, as I said before in the beginning, it's a very sensitive area and it needs you to be very careful and delicate as you deal with it okay? d is avoid wearing things like g-strings or thongs because they get into the vaginal area um of course you can wear it if it's for a specific outfit if you're wearing like you know um maybe white pants that are silk material or anything silky or you know there's certain materials that require you to actually wear a g-string or thong however avoid wearing them on a daily basis if you're going to wear such um type of underwear let it be for like a particular period in time and once you're done with that you remove them and you go back to your 100 percent cotton underwear so that that you avoid any irritation or any skin contact any sorry any fabric contact with your vaginal area because yeah it, it, it's a contribution to some infections and bacteria having a tea party in your private area and you don't e want that is when you wash your underwear thoroughly wash your underwear especially the part um where your vagina lays your private area lays make sure you wash it thoroughly you rinse it double rinse it avoid using things like um detergents omo surf uh, really strong detergents uh, when cleaning your underwear use a mild soap such that you know even when you eventually wear your underwear uh, there's no irritation there's an avoidance of irritation towards your vagina tip F is actually really important and I feel like many people do not do this or avoid doing this but you need to wash your underwear before you wear it what I tend to do is I get new underwear I will like soak it for like an hour in um, Omo 
and I will put like a little bit of detail just to kill any unforeseen bacteria and stuff like that. But when I rinse it, I rinse it with warm water and I double rinse, triple rinse so that none of the detergents remain on the material. And then I put it out to dry before I use it and everybody should be doing that because the thing is you don't know what is happening in these factories and I'm, I'm not saying that you know people are misusing undergarments before they're sold but you just have no idea even the cleaning material um in the factories what exactly is being used to make this um undergarment and you just want to be safe so make sure it's a must before you wear any new underwear you wash them thoroughly you dry them and then you iron them if you know, you want to go the extra mile, you can iron them and then you can start using them. Okay, so G just touches on what I said before. Make sure when you wash your underwear, you're not using detergents or fabric softener or, um, yeah, some people use dishwasher, you know, the green bar. Yeah, avoid things like that. Just use like a mild soap um, that you can find in your local supermarket and that, you, you know, your, your underwear will be good to go. And H when you're in the bathroom after you urinate make sure that you wipe yourself with white tissue or you can use baby wipes if that's your preference okay so tip i is do not use any scented tampons or pads because they cause an irritation and an imbalance to your hormonal system down there so you are trying to avoid anything that puts your vaginal area off balance so make sure to use um pads that are not scented that are not perfumed that are not extraordinary and when you do use tampons if you use tampons make sure to take them out uh, regularly don't leave them in for okay so tip j is your vagina has an odor a smell a natural smell that is there so do not try to make it smell like flowers and roses and deal perfume by spraying the area because that also causes an imbalance in your ph um balance down there and that causes some bacteria infect infections and organisms to be growing in parts and places they're not supposed to be growing so avoid that at all costs because it's not good for you it's not good for your vaginal area and we are trying by all means to keep it healthy and that does not mean that hey if you're experiencing some form of irritation and it's itchy and you don't know what to do go and see your doctor instead of scratching because um scratching can actually increase infections can spread infections as bacteria are able to move from wherever you're scratching onto your hands and onto other surfaces and we're not trying to be like um a mode or a means for contamination for other things so if you're experiencing some form of discomfort go and see your doctor and they can prescribe something for you um so that you can you know help fix the situation now then, okay so avoid wearing pantyhose um, or nylon giddles um, because they trap in moisture and they trap in air and your vaginal area needs to breathe as much as possible so in order for you to avoid um, a breeding ground for bacteria to manifest and play uh, it's important for you to avoid wearing things like that in the event that you absolutely have to wear them ensure that you're wearing a cotton wool 100 cotton wool underwear to avoid um yeah a breed for bacteria so m is to avoid using certain by um feminine hygiene products that are meant to make you smell better or meant to make you uh feel better um yeah, avoid those as much as possible because they have some chemicals that are not good for your vaginal um, area and that is not what we are trying to achieve in general so yeah bubble baths salt baths um yeah avoid those as much as possible using like foam soap or, or liquid soap to wash your vaginal area um yeah, just avoid things that um, could potentially harm you. Okay, so tip N is to go for the whole body health and wealthy. If your whole body is doing well, 
uh, as the byproduct of your vaginal area will also do well. So what you eat is important, what you drink is important, how much you exercise is important, how much water you drink is important. So take it into consideration and into mind that it's very important for you to ensure that what you take in, how you keep yourself full body wise is a reflection and will be reflected upon your vaginal area as well. Okay, so when you're on your period, make sure to change your pad after every two hours if you have a heavy flow, if you have a normal flow, four hours, um, after every four hour changes, okay. Um, ensure that you do not spend like the whole day in your pad. You bath in the morning, you bath in the evening, you change your underwear, and you should be good to go. Um, all right, so when you're bathing, right, and you finish um, washing your whole body, you should, when you're drying your body, right, or when you're washing your body, you need to have a specific separate towel which has been designated just for your vaginal area. Your face towel is your face towel just for your face. Your body towel is your body towel for the rest of your body. Your vaginal towel is your vaginal towel just for your vagina. You dry it with it. Um, you could wash gently, very gently with it. There's no point in you know going in and putting too much force as i said it's a delicate area it needs love and care and gentleness all right so when you finish using the bathroom and you've done number two right that's pooping right you need to make sure that you're wiping your vaginal area and your butt area from the vaginal area going front and not the other way around because the certain bacteria that lay within the butt area that you do not want to transfer to your vaginal area so make sure that you know when you're done your business and stuff you wipe with tissue or wipes whatever is preferable to you from the vaginal area to the butt area and not the other way around okay so Pubic hair, there's a great debate about pubic hair, but according to my knowledge, it's safer for you to shave your pubic area, your pubic hairs, because pubic hair acts as a ground or a baseline for bacteria and organisms to play around and to venture in and find a means of exploration. So to, in order to avoid a manifestation or infestation of bacteria and stuff like that make sure that either you wax use the pillitories or you shave whichever one is preferable to you but you kind of keep it neat and tidy there to avoid any unforeseen happenings happening once you're done bathing and you've dried your vaginal area make sure to use dry underwear not nearly dry not you know two minutes to dry it's dry it's dry 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 and since it's cotton you can iron it beforehand before you pack it in uh so by the time you use it it's fully dry and it's safe to it's important to know that vaginal discharge is very normal for women it is just how the body was created and how things go so do not try to remove vaginal discharge in unforeseen ways and unheard of ways you know it's very normal for you to have some form of vaginal discharge however if it has a strong smell or if it has a strange color then you should go and see your doctor to prescribe something for you because it could be something that's actually really serious so instead of self prescribing go and see a doctor and regularly go and see your gynecologist or your, your local doctor and know just check if everything is okay it's good for your health and it's good for you and it's something that you should do and be aware of on a regular basis and last but not least avoid wearing super tight clothing super tight jeans super tight leggings super tight jeggings um super tight stockings generally super tight super tight clothes um your vagina needs to breathe it needs air it needs to 
feel it free you know what i'm saying so avoid things like that if you have to wear your jeans wear them but don't wear them like on a regular basis and stuff because that moisture and air and the trapped heat that you're uh, producing from all the walking and all the tightness is not good for your vaginal area so avoid by all means wearing things that are like super 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 tight all right guys thank you so much for watching my youtube video these are my tips and hacks as how to take care of your vaginal area your private area and i hope it was informative and educated for everyone who watched um make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in my next video and make sure to continue to wash your hands thoroughly and to use hand sanitizer um in this very hectic time that we have found ourselves living in <laughs> so yeah don't forget to pray i hope you have an amazing 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 week god bless